Welcome to our channel. We have new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe. Hello guys, the name of today's storybook is Aladdin, Runaway Raja. Everywhere Aladdin, Jasmine, Raja and Abu turned, something spectacular caught their eye. It was the biggest parade of the year. Look, Aladdin, a snake charmer, Jasmine cried. And over there, Aladdin pointed, a fire eater. A group of peacocks strutted by. Next came elephants draped in silk and strings of pearls. But Jasmine couldn't take her eyes off the group of tigers. They were magnificent. A young girl was leading the tigers. The girl tossed a melon. The tiger caught it with his teeth, flipped it, and balanced it on his nose. Aladdin whistled. Impressive. Jasmine smiled. You should see what Raja can do. Jasmine bought some fruit. She tossed a melon to Raja. He flipped it up to his nose. Then Jasmine tossed him an apple and a fig. Raja balanced both on top of the melon. At Jasmine's signal, Raja flung the fruit into the air. He sliced it into pieces with his claws. Jasmine caught the pieces in a bowl as they fell. Raja, you're good enough to be in the parade, Aladdin said. Abu noticed the monkeys walking past with their trainer. Aladdin laughed. Okay, he said. Abu, why don't you and Raja walk along with the parade? Jasmine and I will meet you back at the palace. A little while later, Jasmine and Aladdin returned to the palace. They looked for their friends, but Raja and Abu were nowhere to be found. Just then, Abu ran into the palace gardens. He looked upset. Abu, Jasmine said, what's wrong? Abu pretended to strut like a peacock, walk like an elephant, and dance like a pretty girl. Then he swished his tail like a tiger. Jasmine's eyes widened. Raja's been taken by the parade folks. She turned to Aladdin. Quick, where's the magic carpet? Hurry, carpet, Aladdin urged. We need to catch up to the parade before everyone in it leaves. They flew this way and that. Finally, they spotted an elephant. Over there, Aladdin exclaimed. To the left, I see it. The magic carpet turned sharply. Aladdin and Jasmine held on, but Abu tumbled off the edge. Just as he fell, Jasmine snatched him back. I don't want to lose any more of our friends today. The carpet continued toward the part of the city where Aladdin had spotted the parade. Watch out, Aladdin cried as they dropped between the buildings. The magic carpet tried to stop, but it crashed into a bunch of clotheslines. Aladdin, Jasmine, and Abu tumbled safely onto a rooftop. But carpet was all tangled up. We need to keep moving, Jasmine said. Abu, you stay here and help carpet. Aladdin, we have to get to the parade. Jasmine couldn't see the parade anymore, but she could still hear it. I think it's over there, she said, pointing. She grabbed a long pole and vaulted from one rooftop to the next. Aladdin quickly followed. Finally, they reached the building just before the end of the parade. Three stories below, Jasmine saw the peacocks, the elephants, and yes, the tigers. Jasmine gasped. We have to stop them. Aladdin nodded. But we're so high up. What's the quickest way to get down? Jump! Jasmine clasped his hand, and they leaped from the rooftop. Just as Raja was being loaded into a cage, Jasmine ran up and threw her arms around him. Raja, she cried, I was so worried about you. Jasmine quickly removed his collar. Come on, let's go home. A deep voice stopped her. Where do you think you're taking my tiger? The parade master stood in front of Jasmine. Jasmine straightened up. There's been a mistake, she said. I am Princess Jasmine, and this is my tiger. 
but he isn't wearing the royal collar, he pointed out. Jasmine knew she had to prove Raja was hers. If not, she would lose him forever. So she tossed a melon to Raja. He quickly sliced the fruit with his claws. The parade master bowed. It seems I was mistaken. As an apology, we'll perform a special show tonight in the city center. You and your tiger shall be the stars. Jasmine was very proud. But more importantly, she was glad to have her friend back. Thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate your support. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe. Here are some videos we thought you might like. We hope to see you soon. Bye for now.